Hi, this is Shelly Hoffman with an episode of Did You Know? And I'm here today with Tony Birkinshaw. He's with Lysander Parks and Recreation. And, uh, and they have a great event coming up here in Baldwinsville, which is the, uh, the Valentine's Daughter Dance. And Tony, can you tell us a little bit about the, the event? Yeah, so the uh, Valentine's Dance is February 22nd from 6 to 9 at the Fireside Inn. Tickets are now still available, so you can get your tickets on online or stop by our office Monday through Friday from 9 to 4.30. Um, we're partnering with the Fireside, and like I was saying earlier, um, the Valentine's Dance started off as our father-daughter dance and kind of evolved into just our daughter dance. It's still got the Valentine's theme. Um, we still encourage everybody to come out, um, but now it's open to all. Moms can attend with their daughters. Dads can attend with their daughters. Grandpas, um, anybody can come and and partake in in the uh, the event so it's a good event it brings community together families together um, so that's a lot of where we're at right now so it, it's changed down through time but tickets are still here and we want to just let everybody know that it's it's a great program for us and it's been ongoing for a long time yeah it's been and like you said it's been changing and and one of the reasons like you said you included it's just not fathers and daughters it's the the moms too and you know and and obviously you've heard stories about that as to why can you tell us why you've opened it up to yeah everyone? so there there was times when we started off and dads we would say you know this is the first time my daughter has ever asked me to go to a dance or, or be a part of my life in, in any way shape or form and that was a, always nice story to her here about what a program that we offer or a special event that we offer but now we got the stories too of moms coming to us and telling us you know I'm the dad in the uh, in our family I'm the mom in our family I'm you know I'm the head of the household and we would like to partake in the, in the event as well so th that's why we kind of looked at it and said you know the times have changed things right. have changed families have changed and maybe our dance should change so we've opened up the dance so that moms can come dads can come um, so it's it's a nice special event here in the community. Like I said, we're partnering with the Fireside Inn. They're catering it. There's going to be light snacks and hors d'oeuvres. We're partnering with Sweet Dreams, who are giving um, parting gifts to all the girls that they attend for the night. We're also um, working with Baker Photography, who will take pictures and portraits of the couples when they come to the dance. And those will be available to purchase for coffee mugs. Mother's Day is right around the <laughs> corner. Is, yeah. So it's a, it's a great thing um, for there. Um, so it's a lot of community um, and local businesses all working together. And, and it's a great partnership. So, yeah, so the dance has changed from father-daughter to now uh, just Valentine's daughter dance. And all the way around, it's still one of our staples and key programs that people look to. And I've been seeing the signs around the village. I'm sure other people have as well. Um, and, you know, it's funny. When my daughter went to the first father-daughter dance back in Pittsburgh, I still have that picture. It's right. still one of my favorite pictures of, of them together. Um, as they developed, uh, I have a son as well, so I'm sure people know son. And we took it as an opportunity of... Um, the father and daughter went to the dance, and then we went to the movies and grabbed a hamburger or something like that. So really, family themes can be around that, not just the community theme. And like you had mentioned, um, moms a lot of times say, why can't I take my daughter? Right. So I think it's great that um, the community, your program, has opened up to pretty much everybody. Well, the good thing, too, is like when it used to be the father-daughter dance, dads used to take their daughters, like you said, out for a little date. Um, mm -hmm. They would go local around, get something to eat. Um, dads would come and say, this is the opportunity for me to show my daughter of what a gentleman should do, Absolutely. open the door, have the corsage, you know, we're going to take you out um, and have a good evening. And this is how a gentleman should treat you uh, of moving forward. And that's great that dads are showing their young girls that this is the way of, you know, how a, a young lady should be treated. Um, and then the same with moms, you know, that they can spend that time, one-on-one, -on -one daughter quality time of saying, look it, we can have girl time together, we can have this, we can have fun and and go out and have a great special event here in the community. And it being that it's a community event, a lot of the daughters, uh, girls, I'm sure, know each other and stuff. So it's just a fun, <laughs> you know is. what I mean? See your friends, see everybody interacting Once together, they get there, they find their little friends and their little groups, and the dance floor is basically hopping from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock <laughs> to the music stops. Um, one of the things we do, so the uh, all the parents know, at a certain time, we cut back on the on the soft drinks and we, we start getting the water. But um, yeah, they're they're constantly in their groups. They're dancing, jumping around, and these girls come dressed up. They have the corsages, the hair done, the nails done. 
the nice dresses. Um, so it is a semi-formal dress mm -hmm. uh, attire. We encourage dads with suit jackets, ties to come out to the event. Um, and we encourage the little girls to make a night of it, you know, Absolutely. And, and the parents to treat them like little princesses that they are and come out and have a great time. And you said that it's kind of grown. How many people um, do you think overall typically come to the event? We like to hit the 150 mark. Uh, right now we're about um, 75, so we're about halfway there. Um, we're hoping to push a little more on social media, um, get the flyer out through the school. So if you haven't seen it come through Peach Jar yet through the school district, um, go check online, check on our Facebook page, uh, Parks and Recreation, and then uh, you can register online, see us in person, like I said, and tickets are still available. That's so. awesome. I'm going to do a little um, side plug here for one second, and that's because the Lysander Park Parks and Recreation Facebook page um, is like on a restart, right? right? Um, so one of the reasons you might be a little bit behind in the registration is that social media push is being delayed. Um, so you, if you've been following Lysander Parks and Recreation and you're wondering where they've been, it's now, what's your new Facebook page called? It, it's just Lysander Parks and Recreation. It used to be Lys Town of Lysander Parks and Recreation Department. Um, with the new social media push, um, they want you to go to a business or an organization. And because of that, when we started, way back when Facebook started, um, it was under a personal account. So now it's moved to a, a business account, yep. an organizational account. So we're restarting. We got about 300 followers roughly about. So we're trying slowly to work back up our numbers. We were over 2,000 something I way know. back then. And then now we're, we're, we're getting it going again. So um, yeah, so Lysander Parks and Recreation. Um, that's where we're on social media. You can follow all our programs, special events, programs that we got coming up for that. And everybody's looking forward to the Valentine's Daughter Dance, but um, but you do have another program out there for the girls as well in our community. Yeah, so one of the big uh, summer programs that we offer, uh, as everybody knows, we kind of got away from our summer playground program, mm -hmm. and then we're looking to partner with the school district on a GEMS program. It's Girls Engaged in Math, Science, Technology based. Um, it's really off of STEMS, and registration for that GEMS Gems and Gems Plus um, are now available online, and that goes, there's a Gems program in July, and there's one in August. Okay. Um, the one in August is based on American Girl, and the one in July is partnering with Helping Hounds. Oh, so nice. they're, they're both kind of, um, you know, different and the same in, this, um, in that aspect. They go from anywhere from 4th grade to 8th grade, and it's only for girls. So that's a great program. We work in our local schools. We work with our local teachers. We work with our local community. I know that we went out and Kiwanis helped us with a grant and funding nice. for maybe some girls that couldn't um, afford to go and helped with supplies. So we're going to be going after that grant again for 2020. So that's, that's another program that's out there and it's available and registration is now happening. Perfect. perfect. And again, a prime example of how um, your, your department is working with the community to bring other businesses, organization and all work together, which is happening all the time in Baldwinsville. It's one of the reasons I say I love, love, absolutely, love living here. Absolutely. I mean, the school district is great to work with. The community supports a lot of what we do and they they truly get behind um everything that we have so it's it's a great working relationships with the private and municipal all working together for the common good of Baldwinsville. yeah absolutely so ju just to summarize the valentine's daughter dance what's the date of it again Tony? it's february 22nd from six to nine at the fireside inn registrations um are now Tickets are now available. And what's the age? You did. I know you opened it up a little bit younger or something. Second grade through sixth grade nice. is what we're going with this year. And we will look be changing maybe next year of dropping down a grade to get those younger kids in. Nice, absolutely. So, well, thank you for being here and explaining well, thank you. what you have going on. And if you have other questions about um, the town of Lysander uh, Parks and Recreation, I mean, I know you guys are always having something going on over there correct right uh, and coming up with new things as we um, as we continue into the season um, is there any other uh, real quick thing you want to mention before, while you have the mic while you have the camera to promote no just that you know we're starting to get ready for summer so make sure that you're following us on social media you can always follow us online 
and always stop by our office Monday through Friday and check out, see what we're doing. Yep, and if you're not using the park, the Lysander Park, you really should be. Between everything they have going on in their summer uh, summertime with the splash pad, the um, the tennis courts, I believe people play pickleball there pickleball now. Pickleball is no big. <laughs> So, um, and, and obviously you can walk the trails and stuff or just go for a beautiful day in the park. So, but again, uh, thank Tony for being here and uh, maybe we'll see you guys at the parks this summer. Have a great day. Absolutely. Thank you.